I guess the first time we talked to you since you signed, what, what's it, what's the adjustment been like here with the new team? And my, maybe how excited are you about the possibility of this, this offense with you and and obviously AJ and Julio, um, and, uh, along with uh, Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill and everybody else. Yeah, no, nah, man, it's 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 been awesome, man. Just a uh, new learning experience for me, uh, being able to just kind of meet all these guys and uh, and start to grow with them and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it's been it's been fun, you know. I mean, just kind of keeping my head down right now and in, in, in my playbook and and trying to get caught up on everything. Uh, but I mean, I'm mean, I'm excited with the with the new add on with Julio and and to get going with this offense. Well, last week, uh, Josh, it looked like you were you weren't quite a full participant uh, today. It looked like you you were doing everything. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the progression there and how your relationship with uh, with Ryan Tannehill is coming along as he starts his relationship with Julio? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I was a little a little bit uh, kind of just catching up with, with the swing of everything, practice style and and, uh, and everything like that. But, uh, uh, yeah, man, uh, just be able to get out there and, and, and catch balls with, with Ryan and and to uh, just kind of work on our timing and, and see, you know, how he likes to route run or, you know, see how long my strides are compared to some other guys and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's things you got to uh, you got to work on and, and 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 build rapport with. Kayla. Hey, Josh, welcome to Nashville. Um, when it comes to just your overall thoughts on this team, the identity of this team coming in, um, what was that when you arrived in Nashville and now that you've been able to be around some of these guys and head coach Mike Rabel? Tough, hard working, you know, and I mean, I, you know, I expected nothing less with, with, with Rabel back there, uh, you know, but just, just seeing the, the camaraderie with everybody and just, the uh, you know, everybody being on the same wavelength. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's almost like being back in college, you know, with, with guys playing, playing with each other for four years that just got that, uh, that, that, uh, that rapport with each other. And, um, yeah, we're still learning some new, uh, you know, new things here and there, new techniques, new, uh, new adjustments. But I mean, other than that, you know, it's, it's team building and, uh, and hard work. Teron. Sorry about that, Josh. As far as you just kind of building with with uh, receiver coach Rob Moore and the OC Todd Downing, seeing you do a lot of interaction with them, how's that relationship developing? It's going good. It's going good. They're uh they're they're learning my play style. Um, and I'm you know I'm learning how they how they want um want want concepts and and stuff like that ran. And so uh you know it's just it's right now it's just a bunch of learning. Uh, learning opportunities for for the both of us. Teresa. Uh, sorry, my question's been asked. Thank you. Luke. Josh, you know from being on some high-powered offenses in LA that it's not just having a bunch of talent to, to make things work. You all have to work together well. So, so with all these weapons that you have here in Tennessee, what's it going to take to get everyone – on the same page and gelling and, and it to be one unit once, once the games roll around in September. Honestly, I don't think, I don't think it should be that hard for us to, to, to gel together. I mean, uh, we're all here to win games and, and, and I mean, that's the main, the main, uh, you know, point of, of everything, you know, the win games for the Titans. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it really matters who's out there. Um, I think guys are, guys are going to be on the same page. To follow up on that, Vrabel just mentioned you have a lot of guys you want to get the ball to, but only one football. Sounds like you guys aren't going to have much of an ego problem with that, and that's really all about winning for y'all. No doubt, no doubt, man. I mean, and, and if you do your job, the ball the ball comes to you. So, uh, you know, there's really no need to do anything extra. John Lennon. Hey, Josh. Um, yeah, with, with Julio coming in, um, you know, how does that change your role, do you think? And, and do you suspect you'll wind up playing a little bit more slot than you originally thought you might? I know you've, you've played that a little bit in the past. 
Uh, kind of hard to say right now. Um, uh, you know, they kind of got everybody rotating. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna wait till camp and, and see what they, uh, what the plan is for me. Uh, and just keep getting better and, and, uh, learn this offense. Terry. Josh, I know that for a lot of receivers who are around your age or so, Julio Jones was a guy that they probably grew, that you probably grew up admiring and uh, watching his game from afar. Did you have to, for a split second, kind of pinch yourself or think it was surreal when you looked on the practice field or in the meeting room and you go, that's Julio Jones? Uh, no, I mean, you, you, you definitely can feel his presence out there, man, with, with, with him being a, a, a freak athlete. But, um, I mean, he's, he's a good dude. Uh, first day out there, he was he was uh, coaching guys up and, uh, you know, just little technique things here and there. So, um, you know, you can just tell his mindset coming in is, is uh, win games and, you know, whoever's out there, make plays. Just a couple more for you, Josh. Joe Rexroad. Yeah, kind of following up on that, Josh, it looked like you guys were having some good conversations today. I guess what has that been like from, from that aspect, just talking game and talking scheme? And then also, how, how similar do you find anything that you're doing here to what you did conceptually, schematically with the Rams? Um. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> blanked out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, yeah. We're you know, um, uh, you know, to be able to to be able to learn from a guy that, and, and and for me, it's my first time being in the in the league, learning from a guy that's that's kind of stature built like me, and so you know, to be able to learn learn from a guy like that who's been doing it at a high level for a long time. I mean, it's you know, you can't you can't get a lot of those so. Um, but as far as schematically wise, you know, um, I mean, you know, they had, they had LaFleur here and, and, uh, you know, offenses are kind of similar, but different verbiage. So I, I, you know, I'd say it's, it's conceptually pretty, pretty similar, but, you know, they, they, they throw their own twists on it and, uh, yeah. Last question, David Beauclair. Josh, everybody's talking about Julio and AJ as a, a one-two punch. Have you thought much about what it means maybe to be number three behind a couple guys like that and what what opportunities will be there for someone who the defenses aren't necessarily as concerned about? Oh yeah. I mean definitely, but you know, you don't you don't really think about that that kind of stuff. I mean, it's it's in the back of your mind, but I mean at this point. It's it's getting better every day. Uh, for me, it's it's learning the offense uh, front and back, and and uh, you know, for me to be able to do my job and get on the field as much as I can.